they have come. The aphids are here. And it is your duty as a farmer to protect the gulai. The enemy is relentless and their numbers grow by the minute. So we must strike now. Gather your weapons and join me in battle. So this coronavirus kind of ruined my plans. Uh, not ruined my plans. I took a hit and I'm going to keep rolling with it. Still going to go with the, on with the rest of my trip to Asia. But I had a few more Bay Trip to videos to get to. And I'm skipping those to let you know what I would have said if this coronavirus didn't cancel my flights. I would have been all excited like, I got a one-way ticket from San Diego to Shanghai for $203. And I'm going to stay there. It for six days to avoid the $140 travel visa and it's only gonna cost me $200 to do a six-day tour around Shanghai then I only spent 40 bucks to fly from Shanghai to the Philippines and from there I'm gonna kick it with my boy Kazoo for a little while till I fly over to Japan and hang out finally hang out the whole point of the trip was to stay with my cousin Phil and then from there thanks to my aunties in Penol they booked a, a timeshare in uh, Bali so someone canceled out on them and of course I just slipped on in there. They're generous enough to offer it to me and I thank them for that. And then from there to Bangkok and from Bangkok back home, who knows? So two tips with the ladybugs. The first one is that you should release them at uh, nighttime or early morning like right now because if you release them during the day, they'll just fly off. And the second tip is make sure you get ladybugs that are the species in your area, or else if you get ones from a different country, they may take over your native species or may bring diseases and inadvertently take over your uh, native species of ladybugs. Ladybugs, ladybugs, ladybugs. Bugs get ready to do their thing. I'm gonna do my thing and harvest some broccoli. See if they got to the aphids. Nope, the aphids are all still over there. Interesting. So I really don't understand it. There's all those aphids. There's a ladybug just on top of another ladybug. And when I zoom out, you can see that there are a lot of ladybugs just hanging out while I want them to eat those aphids over there. They may have worked out some kind of truce. I don't know. But, oh, okay, you gonna mess with them? You gonna mess with them? Nope, you're gonna see, check out the ladybug on top of the other ladybug. Uh, a ladybug is supposed to eat over 50 aphids a day, and there's about, I don't know, over 100 right there. And nobody seems to care. Like, it looks like that one cares, but 
Is he keeping a secret and like not telling all of these other guys? 